Dr. Braddock. Savannah and I have been outside this afternoon. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. We're enjoying the pretty weather. Uh, we've been playing with sidewalk chalk because Savannah loves sidewalk chalk. Uh, but I couldn't resist the, uh, the temptation to draw out a story using my magnificent uh, artistic skills to show you something that is extremely important. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The story that we're talking about, this is one, one half of one cell from dad one half of one cell from mom and those two cells became one complete perfect cell this is you this is day one of your life right that's right so when that cell divides over time it starts to develop the very first body part and that first body part as you could imagine a lot of people think it's your brain it's your uh, or you think it's your heart your lungs or liver it's actually your brain and your brain's tail, which is the long, skinny spinal cord. Now, what happens at the end of the, of the spinal cord start to come nerves. There's 70 trillion nerves. We're not going to draw all 70 trillion for time reasons. We're going to draw three. This is where it gets important because what happens is the brain is constantly telling every part of your body to work. It's telling your, your lungs to breathe, it's telling your heart to beat, it's telling your toes to wiggle. And it does it by sending the information from the brain down the spinal cord, out the nerve, to the organ. We'll say that this organ, uh, for instance, will be your heart. So it tells your heart to beat, uh, it tells it to speed up when you're exercising, slow down when you're resting. In turn, that heart sends its needs a request up the nerve, up the spinal cord to the brain. So the brain, it's constantly talking to the heart, the heart's constantly talking to the brain, and when that happens at 100%, that's health. Now, the spinal cord and brain are extremely delicate, probably, are absolutely the most important part of the body, so God completely protected them by bone. Your brain protected by a thick, hard skull, and then your spinal cord is protected by individual backbones stacked one on top of the other, just like hockey pucks. In between each backbone or vertebra, each white vertebra, is a space, and out of that space is where the nerve goes. We'll say in this case that that nerve My? is going My? to your stomach. So now, when the, when the brain sends the information down the spinal cord, out the nerve to the stomach, it needs to be uninterfered with. Sometimes, though, there can be a problem. These two bones move out of position. And this space that the nerve comes out of gets pinched, and there starts to become nerve interference. When that nerve starts to have interference on it, the brain can no longer communicate with whatever part of the body that that nerve goes to. So in this illustration, it's from the brain to the stomach. So what happens is your brain starts to tell your stomach to produce too much stomach acid, to produce not enough stomach acid. Over time, you start to develop something that's a symptom. Very common symptom of a stomach problem would be something like acid reflux. And if you watch TV tonight, you're going to probably see about 50 commercials for acid reflux, things like Prevacid, Tums, Rolaids, uh, Prilosec, the Nexium, the Purple Pill. You're going to see hundreds of commercials for uh, medications that are designed to deal with the symptom rather than actually address the cause of the problem. So this is the importance of chiropractic. Now what we're talking about here is just the stomach. If we're putting pressure on the nerve that goes to the lungs, maybe we can have asthma, we can have breathing problems. If it's pressure on the nerve that goes to the heart, maybe it's COPD, cardiomegaly. If it's pressure on the nerves that are going to the uterus, maybe it's women who have problems with infertility, menstrual problems. Uh, those nerves, 70 trillion nerves, go to every single cell, organ, and tissue of your body. If there is subluxation, there's a misalignment in your spine that's putting pressure on that nerve, we know without a shadow of a doubt, it's going to impair your body's ability to be function, to function properly and be 100% healthy the way God designed it to in the first place. 
Every time you come into my office, you lay down on a chiropractic table, we're detecting and correcting the subluxation. We're simply taking the pressure off the nerve so the body can heal and function at its maximum capacity. We're not adjusting back pain, right? We're not adjusting sciatica. We're not adjusting headaches. We're simply allowing the brain to communicate with the body and the body to communicate with the brain at 100% function so your body can heal and operate the way God designed it to in the first place. Uh, Thanks for taking a t uh, the opportunity to uh, watch this video, to check out some of my amazing artwork, uh, tongue in cheek, and hopefully you'll take a second and forward this to anyone that you know because uh, this absolutely makes sense. This is why people in our office are getting amazing results without drugs and without surgery. Because if all this worked, all these drugs worked, the people who took the most drugs would be the healthiest people you know. Is that true? Absolutely not. Health comes from within, not from without. I look forward to seeing you on your next visit. God bless.